Okay, folks, this is a minus 60, minus 80 degree sleeping bag test. I have the sleeping bag there in the compression sack. Um, it's not compressed. It's a radial compression sack. That's a five-gallon bucket. So, you see it's kind of large, uncompressed. Um, let's see what we're looking at. Temperature, see if I can get over here. We're minus 20 Fahrenheit, just about minus 30 Celsius. I did grab a second one for giggles here. And you can see we're minus 20 there too, a little under. Okay, so no fire. Uh, completely out in the open here. Got a wind sock here. It's supposed to get a five mile an hour wind. Swing set, no trees. Out in the open, no fire. So I'm gonna set this thing up and then we'll go over some weights because this is the heaviest sleeping bag they got. They got sleeping bags that are rated for the same that are actually much lighter. And we'll go over that after a little bit. I'm gonna get these hogs set up and then I'll get right back to you. So hang tight. Okay, we're back. I would zoom out, but then my light would turn off on the camera. So that's the, this is the rectangle bag. Now bear in mind, this is a three piece setup. So I have the bivy and then it has two bags. It has an outer bag, outer bag right here. And it has a core bag so just these two bags right here on the rectangle style hey 9 10 11 you're looking at 12 pounds now if you got that same setup without the bivy in a mummy style you're only looking at nine pounds that is according to the math on the website and uh, I'll post the website where I bought this setup below um, and underneath, I just have a thermal rest sleeping pad. So, uh, this bag right here is 36 by 92. Um, with the bivy, you're looking at 6.42 kilo, 14 pounds, 2.5 ounces. That's according to the math on the website. Uh, the measurement, again, 36 by 92 or 91.4 centimeters by 233.6 centimeters. Uh, the bivy on this, on their website, is listed at two pounds, 2.5 ounces. Um, so yeah, so that's that. I'm gonna finish getting this stuff set up here. Let's see if I can zoom in here. And, uh, while I get in the bag here, I'm going to leave a little bit of clothes on at first, but uh, my goal is, is to see if I can just get down to my long johns, considering it's the low tonight is minus 31, 30, 31 Fahrenheit. This bag is rated to minus 60, minus 80. So why don't you guys go ahead and check out my, it's, it's just about 10 o'clock now, my time, and why don't you guys go ahead and check out my hourly forecast while I get in this thing. I'll get right back with you. Okay, I got inside the bag. I can zoom out here. I'm inside the bag. Um. It looks like it's getting pretty cold. I bring that other thermostat thermometer in the bag with me. Just put my shoes in that box out there. Those are going to be some cold shoes in the morning. That's for sure. Okay, let's see if we can get a look inside here. Let's see how this works. Oh. Plenty of room in here. We've already went up. Damn near 45 degrees. Um, I'm already warm in here. 
I think I'm going to start shedding some clothes right away. Um, it's right about 10 o'clock. I'll uh, try to get back to you, I suppose, about every hour just for just a tidbit to look at a couple thermometers. And uh, we'll go from there. So. You guys bundle up. Stay warm. Um, so far, so good. No issues. Okay, folks. It is about quarter to midnight. And I gotta use the bathroom and get some sleep. I wanna show you, I'm in here with just socks on. Just cheap, cheap Hanes socks. And uh, Under Armour Long Johns. These are Under Armour 4.0s. That's all I'm wearing. No hat, nothing. Um, this is laying on the floor. My upper shoulder up here in the air is that's burning up. Um, so 65, it's toasty in here. I'm not cold at all. Um, I do know that when this all lays down like that and there's no air getting down there, my feet do get a little bit cold, but you gotta think, it's pretty goddamn cold outside. So if I just open it up like this, then my feet do get warm. So I'm gonna pause this, I'm gonna hop out of here, we'll check out the outside thermometer, and uh, we'll go from there. Give me a second. Okay. Back at it here. It's pretty damn cold. So, I guess that's that. I'm gonna use the bathroom here and then I'm gonna get some shut eye. I'll uh, show you the extended forecast again since we got some more hours on there. And uh, I'll get back to you after I get some sleep. You guys have a good night. Stay warm. Okay, it is morning and I am inside now. Um, I'll kind of conclude this here. Um, one thing I would like to emphasize is that uh, this bag right here is the heaviest one that they offer so if you're looking at weight per se I mean you're looking you're looking at 6.4 kilos and that's with the bivy the bivy is rated at 2 pounds 2.5 ounces that's for the rectangular bag now the mummy bag just the two bags it's only nine pounds and so let's say you add what another half a kilo or something they, they don't have the weight listing on the website for the mummy bivy bag but you're still looking at 10 pounds let's say so the mummy style does shed a lot of weight so those are you that are concerned about weight um, you got to remember that this is the heaviest bag that they have um, I got that because I'm a side sleeper and I wanted to stow some stuff in the bag so let's go over some of this um, <clears throat> I did cinch just the bivy part on the bottom here so it does make a, a small hole right here when you're inside the bag. So if it were raining or something, or anything's falling from the sky, it's, it, it's gonna get in there. Um, one thing I was able to also put in the, in, the, in the stuff sack with the sleeping bag is the pillow that it comes with. Now this is where the pillow sits, and I'm six foot, exactly and about 190 pounds so when I'm in there and my feet say come to about like so tip of my fingernail there my head is just on this pillow so actually there's a bunch of stow spot right up here if you wanted to store some stuff up here but anything you put up there is gonna freeze and it's gonna be very 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 cold now earlier I was talking to you about the the airflow getting down to my feet. So at about three o'clock in the morning, I woke up and my feet were chilly. 
and uh, my hip was hurting because I was laying on the ground, I guess. Two, I had this thermal rest pad, which it, it's not inadequate. It does do the job. Um, I would recommend something a little bit better, I guess. But okay, so at 3 o'clock in the morning, my feet were cold, so I did get up, and I had a five-gallon bucket sitting next to my bag with all my clothes in it, and I grabbed my clothes, I stuck them in the bag, and I crawled back in the bag, and I put on um, the jamma pants over my long johns that you see me wearing now. And I also put these on thinking that if I warmed my legs up that my feet would get cold. Now these are just cheap Cabela's made in Vietnam. You know, they're, they're not really thick. They're, they're more for walking, whatever. But I figured if I got my legs warm that maybe my feet would warm up. Well, that didn't happen. So uh, a little while later, what I ended up doing is I ended up pulling these down about a foot and then taking the feet and folding them over my foot like an extra sock, thinking that that would do. Well, I fell asleep after I did that, and I woke up at about 5 o'clock in the morning, and just just the very tips of my toes were, were cold. They, they were pretty damn cold. Um, so my conclusion there is... If you don't have airflow from, I mean, I was still 70 degrees up here. So if you don't have airflow from here down to your feet and it's, you know, minus 30, you know, the upper minus 20s, your feet are going to get cold. Um, and of course, you guys seen I tested it out with, with socks on and long johns. You know, I, I really wanted to test this thing. I didn't want to, you know, get in there with all my winter gear on. I wanted to see if this would work as winter gear. And it, it essentially does. This bag will keep you alive, that's for sure. Um, my my hips up were nice, toasty, warm the whole time. Um, just the tips of my toes got cold. So I guess that's that's kind of the conclusion. If you guys have any ideas, you know, a, a guy doesn't want to pack a pipe with him, you know, to go hiking or something to try to get air from here down to there to keep your feet warm. Or some way to keep an air gap open I'm up for ideas please post them in the comments below um, but other than that um, this bag is phenomenal you know it it got down to minus 30 um, and besides the tips of my toes I wasn't cold um, I would suggest something else as far as the pad goes the upper half of me was toasty toasty warm the bottom half it wasn't seeping through to where I was achy on my joints, let's say like my hips or my knees. If my knees fell off the pad, I could feel it in my knee. So I knew if I was off the pad for sure. Um, so what I'll probably do is I'll probably actually put that in the first layer of the bivy, and then maybe I'm thinking about getting a poncho and a poncho liner, and then I could lay this system on the poncho liner, and I could use the poncho to cover my other gear or whatever. But so this is the this is the Wiggies bag. I'll post links below as far as where I got the Wiggies bag. Just be the Wiggies website. Um, let me know what you think. Um, this is by far the best sleeping bag I've ever had. Uh, like I said, the pillow does it. I just leave it right there, roll it up, and put it in the stuff sack. Um, and you're looking at you know quite a few kilos less or quite a few pounds less for the mummy style. Um, so if, if weight's an issue and you want something that you don't have to have a fire and you are going to stay warm, I was out in the open, um, and you're going to stay alive. So I guess that's it. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have any questions, please post those below too. I can try to help you out and answer them. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm really impressed with it. Um, if I had the money, I would buy definitely buy another one for everybody else in the family so someday thanks guys have a good one